Hi everyone! Today we are going to learn about ASCII, which stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange. It is commonly misunderstood that the numbers on the keyboard are treated as the actual numbers by the computer. Therefore, in this video, we will be explaining on how ASCII works. So what is ASCII? It is a character encoding scheme that encodes 128 specified characters into 7-bit binary integer numbers. The character encoded are 0 to 9, lowercase letters A to Z, uppercase letters A to Z, basic punctuation symbols, control codes that originated with teletype machines, and a space. So what is it used for? ASCII codes represent text in computers, communication equipment, and other devices that use text. For example, they are used to send and receive emails. Email transmissions are limited to ASCII characters, and because of that, graphic files and documents with non-ASCII characters created in word processes, spreadsheet or database programs must be ASCII-fied and sent as email file attachments. When the files reach their destination, they are de-ASCII-fied and therefore reconstructed to restore them for use. This makes it possible to transfer data from one computer to another. How convenient! So how does it work? ASCII code is divided into two segments, control characters and printable characters. For example, if you want to input an exclamation mark, you can't just type it, the computer will not understand what it is. Instead, what you have to do is to key in the number 33, and the computer will translate it into binary code and output as exclamation mark. Let's try to input capital letter A. So we have to key in the number 65, and the computer will translate it into binary code and output as capital A. What if you needed a small letter A instead of the capital letter A? This is when the control characters come into place. It will not be able to read backspace on the keyboard. Instead, we have to key in the number 8, which will be read by the computer as binary code and output as backspace. Let's try and form a sentence using ASCII codes together. The extended ASCII code. Of course, there is always a second edition as people strive to improve the original version. This goes the same for ASCII codes. People came up with an extended version of ASCII which uses 8-bit binary integer numbers instead of 7. The purpose of the extended version is to include more symbols such as the Microsoft Windows Latin one for coding. As a result, the 8-bit ASCII coding has become the dominant character encoding for the World Wide Web, accounting for 82.4% of all web pages in January 2015. So how does it work? Similar to 7-bit ASCII, we read the respective codes off the table to get our intended output. Without much realisation, ASCII codes are used in our everyday life and it will be helpful to know how it works. Thank you for learning with us. 